Uh, welcome. This is just a week seven track. Um, first off, we're just going to do the permissions one. So we just go into the normal Raspberry Pi. <laughs> and then we just make the files. And then I know sysinfo.sh. And I've just already made it. So we just have a simple script. We say, hello, who is it? Current date. And we echo out the directory. So we can just save that. So actually, we'll just go back into it to reset it. Um, which will probably be better if we just go and copy that, just exit out, and we'll just remove that quickly. Just to make it, and then we'll make it again to nano C info. We'll just paste it in. Oh, actually, no, that's wrong again. Sorry. No, no. Info .sh. There we go. Paste it in. Save it. And, but then if you try running it, so. Info. Oop. Sorry. Um, SH. It says permission denied, of course. So we have to change the permissions. So to do that, we need to use a sudo chmod command. And then we're entering the three values, which is for each group. So we've got admin, all groups, and then all users. And I'm just set it to 777, which means everyone gets a read, write, and execute. And I'll set it to the file, of course, yes, info.sh, which does it. So now if we try to run it again, it allows us to run it, saying we're in Pi right now, time, date, all that, and we're currently in the home Pi directory. Um, and we can look at these permissions if we go ls, l, and we put the thing in. So it just shows each, so each three is a different group. So we've got admin, groups, and then just users. And it shows we've got read, write, and execute. So the next thing is to get rid of the password to log into guest. So first we need to make a keygen. We've got SSH, um, how can keygen? So this is H happen So pretty much then we just make it, we just save it as default. Um and for now we'll just override it. We don't want a password, enter in twice, and then we get our key. So then we want to copy the ID over to our guests. So to do that we go SSH hyphen copy um, ID. Then we go i, and then we go slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub because it's a public one, and then we want to send it to guest one obviously. So guest at one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two three colon. Actually, don't believe really me. Colon. No, so that sends it. Guest password obviously. Back in guest, and now if we go our uh, SSH, we can go guest at 192.168.0.23. It'll just say that we don't need a password now. We can just exit out of that. So the final thing is encrypting files and sending them over. So I've already set up that we have our ID on this one. So I believe I can show it as well. It should be G. Um, Leave that so it just shows we have our key set up on here. So we'll just make a file to start off. So just nano file.txt and we can just say this is a test. So let's save that. So if we just want to look at it first, got it and it's in ls. Now what we want to do is encrypt it. So to encrypt it, we go to gpg, go encrypt, and then we go. In the recipient, recipient, which will be the email that's linked to it. So you go that. And just and then we finally put the file in, which is just file.txt. 
and just yes, yeah, so just make sure. So now we can list it again. And we got the file GPG. So to send it, we just do the same thing. So SCP, and um, then we go file dot txt dot gpg and we'll send it to the pi over the ip oops no ways to get the colon I have to put the password into the pi obviously which is fine so it's sent it over and finally to decrypt this one we need to um, use a decrypt script which is gpg Go to the output file we make first, which we just make it file two dot text, and we go to decrypt, and we put in the file. So it's file dot text dot gpg. Oh, and we have errors. Oh, of course we have errors because I put down the wrong one. So sorry, we have to go back over to the main one. So then we can type in gpg output file 2 and we go uh, decrypt and we go file.txt.gpg and we have to put in our password that was set previously when we first made our one and there we go so we've decrypted it so now save this file 2 we can go cat file2.txt oh I spelled it wrong oh we output it um, so just cat file two, and it just shows just this is a test. So this is our decryption. So yeah, this is week seven. Thanks. Just email me back about if you need any more clarification. Thanks.